What's going on guys? Today I was taking a little look at my shelf over here in the corner and I found a quite an interesting object. It was in this box, completely forgotten about it, not gonna lie. And it was this Invicta Folex. So I'm gonna do a review on this today, wear it to school tomorrow, see if I can get some reactions. I haven't worn it in forever. Oh no, looks like the battery's dead. Psych. Eh. You see here, it has a it doesn't run on batteries. If you just shake it, it's powered by the movement of your wrist. You can hear it spinning around when I shake it like that. Now, as you can see, it is the second hand is moving around. So honestly, I'd forgotten about this thing, but it's a cool watch, you know? Like, it costs like 90-something bucks off Amazon. These circles glow in the dark. This thing spins around. <laughs> Listen to that satisfying click. And I think the point of this is... You set this wherever the minute hand is, and then it's like a timer going all the way around up to 60 minutes. So let's get that right to where the minute hand is. We can see how long it takes to film this video. So obviously the day, the time is not right at the moment since I just picked it up off the shelf and it stopped. So it never runs out of battery, that's a huge plus. So let's take a look here. If it will focus. There's the Invicta logo, I think, a little plus sign with a diamond. And actually, had to go into like Kohl's to get someone to take out links of this watch. So it fit me perfectly in eighth grade. So let's try it on and see if it still fits good. Looks pretty good on me still. It's a little tight on the wrist, but the wrist hasn't grown much. And uh, well, I guess the watch probably is a little too big for my wrist. Looks kind of bad on my skinny wrist, but if I put on a couple of pounds, I bet it'll be f awesome. Yeah, so it's actually really tight on my wrist. So that's not gonna be comfortable to wear. So anyways, what else do I gotta say about this? It's not much, it's just a simple watch. Probably worth the money. Um, kind of satisfying to watch that second hand go around. And then adjusting the date and stuff is kind of finicky. Here, let me try to pull it out. See if I can do something. So there's a nice little time lapse of me just spinning it around. Kind of pops back in like that. And then you just screw it back in. So overall, a pretty good watch. It was worth the money. If you're trying to flex on the homies. I just bought this when I was in 8th grade and I was just dumb. And you know how everyone goes in that phase where they're just trying to buy something to flex. So I was in that phase. So I haven't worn it since, but I'm going to wear it tomorrow. See if I can get some cool reactions. Maybe I'll try to sell it to someone. See if any... What does that say? Water resistant. Camera focus. Camera... <sighs> okay, that was weird. It says automatic... Automatic professional. Okay, I'm just going to look at the watch, not through the camera. Automatic professional. 660 feet, 200 meter water resistant. So, if I want to do a water resistant test, well, I can never get down that low. And obviously, it's going to be water resistant in the sink. Oh, yeah, here's another cool part. The uh, inside here, you can see all the gears. That yellow part is supposed to move around. So, that's cool. Yeah. Invicta water resistant stainless steel. Overall, a good watch, man. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10 for just quality, for its price, the way it looks. So let's see what happens when I wear it tomorrow. Yeah. So, man, how are you liking the drip today? But that watch goes hard, bro. Do you remember it from 8th grade? Uh, yeah, I remember it from 8th grade. Any, any other comments? No. All right, see so you. What are your reactions? To what? This. Uh, for the watch? Is it cringy? Yes. No, it's actually kind of nice. You like it? Yeah. I bought it in eighth grade back when I was trying to be a flexor. It's not that and bad. I haven't worn it since. It's not that bad. Good reaction. Good one. What's your reaction to this? It's a watch. Anything else? <laughs> Ryan, don't, don't, don't. what's your reaction? I like those colors. They're Thank nice. you. Peyton, how yeah. do you feel about the drip today, man? It's horrific. Is that eight dollars, dude? <laughs> no. It's it ninety dollars. It's rough, man. Why are you roasting my drip so hard? It's, it's a rough one. I don't know what to tell you. You don't like the Invicta craftsmanship? No. <laughs> are you not a watch person? No, I'm not. I'm not you, a you prefer to use the phone to get time? Yeah, exactly. Like military time, preferably. Oh, military time now. Yeah. What's the story behind that? My dad raised me on military time, so I'm used to it. Tell everyone about your herniated disc. My back hurts. <laughs> We're in the dark closet. <laughs> but anyways, here's the glow in the dark part. Uh kind of hard to see, but you can see like 
minute hand, hour hand. It actually it looks kind of sick. It's kind of like green. So let's take it back into the light. Yeah, so that's what it looks like in the dark. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking for a quality watch that all your friends, most of your friends will think you're they're pretty cool.